Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Monday Night's Entrepreneur Show. Hope everybody's doing great. Hope you guys can see me. We are streaming live right now. This is Monday. What is it? August 12th. You know, some people think that uh, some of these things are not live. Well, we are live, and if I'm not traveling, I want to connect with you. Um, and uh, this is where we talk about ideas, strategies, things that hopefully will help you um, elevate your game. You know, elevate yourself as an entrepreneur, elevate what you're doing, think a little bit differently, approach what you're doing a little bit differently, regardless of what it is that you're doing. Um, our um, kind of a intention here is to empower you to become better, to become that 4% or what you do. Okay, so look, I'm very excited for what I would like to do for everybody here today um, on the show Monday. Uh, and um, and that is this, I'm going to... I'm going to let you guys in on a, um, on a sit down that I had with one of our students, one of the members here at 4%. Um, he's probably no stranger to um, hopefully a lot of you. And uh, you know he might be a new name or new face to probably a lot of you as well, as we have a lot of people watching these. Uh, but uh, he, this is somebody <clears throat> that will, will serve, I believe for many, as a great example of what's possible. You know, if you are somebody that is grinding in your business, whether you're doing affiliate marketing, whether you're doing, you know, information marketing, network marketing, um, e-commerce, whether you're doing consulting, agency, it doesn't matter what it is you're doing out there. If you are somebody who is grinding, 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 and you have not found your your breakthrough yet, right? Um, I believe this story uh, that. Um, I'd like to premiere, we haven't shown this to anybody yet, um, will inspire you. Most importantly, it will um, give you that, hopefully give you that boost, right, for you to continue to stay in the game. Maybe, uh, maybe it'll give you that one idea or maybe two ideas that will really help you elevate your game to the next level, right? But here's one thing I'm going to tell you for, for, for a fact. Look, um, what you're about to to hear is an interview that I that I've done. It was I think it was about what is it? Maybe a, a couple of months, three months ago, something like that. And um, I've you know we've invited this person out. His name is Sid, and uh, he's from India. And uh, we have invited him over to Las Vegas for you know a little mastermind that I wanted to do with a few people there. And uh, and while there, you know, he shared with me his story. And man, what an incredible story! Of success you know he's somebody who has been struggling for nine years check this out nine years trying to build his dream trying to trying to go for that breakthrough hitting rock bottom right not and then getting to the point where he had to listen very closely to this uh, you know uh, not able to sustain his family um, financially at all and then something happens and then a breakthrough comes in and then everything changes for him. So without further ado, you guys, please take um, take lots of notes. I, I hope this will inspire you. I hope this will bring you value. Um, and uh, if nothing else, fish for those ideas that you can implement in your business and how you're doing this so that you can have your next breakthrough. It doesn't matter who you are, what country you're from, what it is that you're doing, you can make your dream become a reality. All right, all right, everybody. So very excited here. Without any further ado, let me cue this up here for you. Um, this is a sit down that I did with uh, Sid, and um, I'm going to let you watch this right now. Pay attention. Check this out. Hi everybody, Vic Streisius here. I hope you're doing well. Welcome to this video. Um, very, very excited about this one. Let me ask you a question. Imagine this situation. You're trying to build your dream. You're trying to build something significant on the internet. You're trying to create that freedom that you're looking for. And you're doing that for nine years, 10 years, a decade. You're not giving up. You're trying, you're trying. You're, you're not having that breakthrough. And then all of a sudden, something happens, something shifts and you go in the span of about nine months, you go from not having the result to generating over $100,000 in sales, completely changing your life, completely changing the business, completely changing the future, and you are super excited about the future. How would that make you feel, right? Well, this is exactly what um, the gentleman that's sitting right next to me, Mr. Sid, how you doing? Great to be here. Rick. Was able to do. Right, so, um, and I wanted to interview him, and I wanted to talk to him about how did that happen? 
right? So dig into your journey a little bit. You are a member of the 4%, you're yes. going to the 4% success challenge, and uh, what you were telling me about your journey uh, is pretty mind-blowing. But that actually describes so many people that might be watching this video. Yeah. So I wanted to sit down with him. There is no script, there is no outline, and just have a real man-to-man, entrepreneur-to-entrepreneur conversation. Yes. Right. And um, and uh, and I want to dig into how were you able to do what you were able to do, right? So a little bit about your background and stuff like that. Before yeah. we get into the background, give me your your current present snapshot of what's happening in your business. What are you guys doing? What's the life like right now today? Yeah. See, for me, it's uh, the last nine months has been a phenomenal transformational journey for me personally. You know, after struggling for so many years. So the snapshot right now, I have over. 4,000 customers uh, that I've been able to add on in nine months. Out of those, those 4,000 customers, 1,500 of them are actually paid customers who are going through my, my systems. Gotcha. And uh, done over $100,000 of sales. In nine months? In nine months, yeah. You guys doing meetups all over India? Yeah, we have meetups ha- happening all over India. The community is, is like uh, such a tight bonded community. Right. And it's evolved to, uh, into a community, you know, it's not just about making money anymore. Now it's right. about inspiring people with the knowledge that they have. Mm-hmm. So I know people come into the, when they, when they buy my products, they want to start making money. But within a span of a, a week, they realize that yeah, money is just a byproduct of becoming a better person mm-hmm. and adding a lot of value to people's lives. So it's grown purely because of the, of the intention of uh, that has been set. And thanks to you, you know, because you gave me some ideas in the challenge that just triggered something totally magical. So I want to yeah. get into that. So you live yeah. in India yes. right now. This is where home is at. You yeah. got wife, couple of kiddos. Yes. Right. Um, and um, what's your backstory? What's your background? What did you do before internet? So before the internet, uh, I'm, a, I'm a college dropout. I dropped out of college. Well, uh, something I'm, similar. Yeah. I'm a college dropout too. <laughs> too. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. I didn't know that. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I, and I got into the music industry. Okay. I, I've been playing the keyboard since the age of 10. And... Uh, the only Another thing that similarity, I had, by the way, I play keyboard music. Yeah. Okay, good. So the only option I had after dropping out of college was music. Gotcha. So I, I did a, a course in sound engineering. Yeah. So I learned how to make music uh, on softwares and stuff like that. So after finishing that course, um, within a year, I was a topper in that college. So I, so I've been so they got me back to start teaching there. Mm-hmm. So I've been teaching music production since the age of nineteen. Uh, so nine. What happened is three years after that, I got into the industry. I was making music for games, okay. music for ringtones. Um, long story short, got into the corporate world, started to manage teams, uh, managing app stores and things like that. And then I got into the, the internet industry because my wife, uh, she's a singer. She okay. was an Indian Idol finalist in 2006. Nice. And uh, we sat at home, uh-huh. put together a whole 12 song album independently and I sold that album online on, on iTunes. Mm-hmm. in 2009. So we had like 800 people who bought my album at $9, $10. I didn't make a single physical copy of a CD back then. Hmm. That's what triggered the whole journey, you know, going to the internet space. I realized the power of, you know, the online space right. after we sold our music. Right. So this yeah. is where this where all kind of happened for you. Started, yes. started like, triggered that. Yeah. You cut that bug. Yes. Of something on the internet. Yeah. So what happened from there? How did you, how did you evolve to you know, to, to get to where you are right now. What, what, kind of, what was the journey there? Yeah. So in 2011, I lost my job, you know, because I was doing really well in this company and uh, my boss calls me in one day in, into this cabin and I go into his cabin and he says, Sid, uh, you've been a great employee in this company. You know, you've helped this company grow from four to 50 member team. I was doing a lot of this uh, media stuff for the mobile industry. Right. And then he says, uh, I'm sorry, I got to let you go because the company is not doing too well. And, um, you just need to leave right now. And at that point, my wife was pregnant with our first child. Mm. She was three months pregnant. And I just had 500 rupees in my bank account because we had some family issues, money issues at home. Right, right, right. 500 rupees, like $10 in my bank account. And we really had to restart life at that point of time. Wow. And a kid on the way. Kid on the way. Mm-hmm. I go back home and Manita points, my wife, she points at her stomach and says, what do we do about this? Right. And the only thing that I had at that point was uh, I, she had some gold jewelry and I pawned that gold jewelry and I invested in some courses online. I hmm. said, okay, and I invested in some internet marketing courses. Right. And that was the start of the journey because I decided at that point that 
no more bosses anymore. I need to be my own boss. I need to start doing things on my own. And I had like six months of buffer. I just had six months of money to, to run through this. And uh, by the end of the six months, I set up my own agency and then, you know, got a few projects and some cash flow started to come in. Yeah. But the starting point was making a decision of getting to relearning, re-educating myself and not succumbing to a job any, anymore and being my own boss. So you started an agency um, uh, around marketing or what was the angle there? What are you teaching? Yeah. What, what are we teaching in the agency or doing? So with whatever money I had got from the gold that okay. I'd pawned, I invested in some online marketing courses. I understood the basic principles of social media. Gotcha. And then I set up an agency around social media. Mm -hmm. So we started to get some clients and they started to pay us to do manage their Facebook page and their like Twitter, local businesses or something like that? Local businesses, small and medium businesses. Okay. So three of us started this company and then I was able to grow that company to around 35 employees right now. It's been over seven years. So uh, I've been, I was running this company for five years. And again, there was a bottleneck in the fifth year, but I realized there's a lot of people and I had many bosses now, you know, like 30, 30 to 35 clients that I was servicing yep. and I didn't have freedom for myself. So I, I felt stuck after five years being in that business. Right. That's when I decided to, you know, so you got out. You, so you, so you, you got out from working for a boss, and then you got yourself thirty five. Thirty five bosses. bosses. <laughs> yes, an agency. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, so you didn't like the business model. Not I so didn't much. like the business model. There was no freedom. Mm. Uh, now there's freedom because I have empowered the second line. I've trained them to handle it. So that's running on autopilot. Yeah. But I still need to look into a few things. But it's not scalable, and I wanted to. And it's not as profitable as, like, selling products and, and doing affiliate marketing. That's right. a, that's when I got on the journey. Once again in 2018, that's exactly a year back, mm -hmm. um, success challenge. I got into it. I thought, let me start building a business, a real business where I can have money for myself. It's not just paying salaries and just paying everyone. Yeah. Um, but have something where I can substantially take back home. Let's get some of that money, huh? Yes. Yeah. And uh, That's kind of important. It is important because I've, I've been paying salaries for 25, 30 employees for five years. Yeah. But I would pay myself last and that wouldn't be much. Right. You know? So it is again back to that position. Yes, I'm helping a lot of people, but I need to have oxygen for myself. That's interesting though, yeah. right? Because I, I tell people, I said, look, you can make many, in, in many cases, you can make more money being an affiliate yes. than running a business. Absolutely. Right? You're bang on on that. That, that, was, that was a case with you. Yes. So, so you are looking to get into the affiliate marketing. Well, what pulled you into that direction? Did you know anything about affiliate marketing? How did you come mm -hmm. across it? How did you get introduced to that? See, I, I've been following you for many years, and I, I would say the last six years, actually. You yeah. know? So I got, a, I got a taste of affiliate marketing even in the year 2000, maybe 12, 2013. Um, and um, the thing is, I could not go fully into it because this business also was running you know, parallelly. I knew the potential of it. Yep. I could tell people about it. I could train people about it, but I was, I was not in the game. Got it. And uh, 2018 was a tipping point where my second child was on the way. Mm. And I said, okay, now this time I'm going to make it right. Mm -hmm. So I decided to train my existing team to run that business on autopilot. And I got full fledged into going through your, the success challenge. And within three months I could see things shifting like massively within. Um, it, it had to do a lot with my relationship with money, you know. How so? Um, previously, it was like, I, the, the relationship with money was like, I have to really work hard to make money, yep. and I would just pay myself last. Right. But then the relationship with money changed when I understood that I, there's no ceiling to anything. I can actually open up that ceiling, and I can write whatever check that I want for myself. So I started to write, I wrote that goal card, mm -hmm. which you asked me to do, and I was looking at it every single day. and. <clears throat> Every day, I could see my awareness expand more and more and more. And by the time I came to day number 30, 35, mm -hmm. it was reflecting my bank account. You know, I could see my income was not stuck at that thousand five hundred, two thousand dollar level per month. Crazy how that works, isn't it? It, it just started to move. It started yeah. to go twice, thrice, and I think within 90 days, I hit my first twenty-five thousand dollar month in affiliate sales. And that 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 was like the with the tipping days. point, yeah. So, okay, so I wanna dig into um, the, the, some of the strategies, right? Mm -hmm. Process and what you've learned and some of those big aha moments that, that led you kind of through, yeah. through that path. Um, starting out, 
promo you're promoting other people's products. You do mm -hmm. not you do not have to create another product. You do not have to create another company. You mm -hmm. were just basically all com like you were like, all right, let me just get the money here. Let me just get the money situation yes. handled. You got two kids on the way, second kid on the way. Um, how do you, and as you go into the success challenge, um, what were some of the biggest aha moments? You just mentioned one, which is your goal card, yeah. is knowing where you're going, right? Yes. Walk me through those big, glaring kind of a, um, breakthroughs that you had mm. uh, throughout your first 90 day. Yeah. <clears throat> See, when I started on the 90 day challenge, uh, I decided to unsubscribe from all the other lists that I was a part of. Okay. I decided to follow one thing because I've been, you know, in the internet marketing space, subscribed to many gurus there. So I thought, let me just follow one path and follow one person. So that was the first step that I mm -hmm. took, is to declutter my life from all the junk that was coming. Okay. Even though it was useful information, it was not giving me the result that I wanted. The second step that I did was uh, was to follow exactly what you said. You know, even though I've been in internet marketing for like three or four years before this, but I wanted to come in as a clean slate. You know, like if you tell me to do something, I'll just do that. Right. You know, I'm not going to question the stop using my brains. You know, I just want to follow the system. So I started to implement that. Uh, the gold card was one important part. I would listen to the strangest secret in the world twice a day. Okay. I mean, even now I do it, but not twice a day, but I would, I would do it for twice a day, went continuously for 30 days. That was the magic, you know, mm. because I was not the same person in, in, the, in the next 30 days. When I would do videos, when I would sell through my webinars, people would just connect with me on a much, much more deeper level and they would they'd just go by. You know, if I would be doing like five or 10 person, you know, five, six person conversions, it jumped to 10 person conversions. Like when I would offer a product, people would just relate with me and, and buy it. And I know that energy or the vibration is coming from these uh, habits, which, which I've been, which, which I inculcated. The invisible stuff. The invisible stuff. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So from a marketing standpoint, how did you structure your business? Did you, you know, do you promote products directly? Do you promote them indirectly? What's your setup there? Mm from a strategic marketing standpoint? So when I started on the challenge, I went through um, selling affiliate programs. Okay. Then I realized that, uh, you know, when you were talking about the million dollar conversion blueprint, you talked about the pre-framing part, like how do you really yeah. pre-frame people and get people in, in the right uh, context? Right. You know? So I thought, um, why not I pre-frame them through my own products? Mm -hmm. And then I decided, to, then I created my own products. So after three months of going through the challenge, I created my own products. It took me like a couple of weeks to you know, roll out all my products. Just turn on the camera, simple laptop, webcam, no you know, hi-fi gear, like what, what's here. Yeah, just kept, yeah. kept it simple. Even now that product is, is a very simple product, you know. Uh, just a, a Logitech webcam and my laptop just had good light hitting my face. Turned on the webcam and just kept speaking and taking all the principles that I've learned uh, over the years. Mm -hmm. So I launched that product um, in, in two weeks then I decided to sell the product and through the product, you know, create that layer of trust and uh, what do you say, um, and set the context right to get the right customers into other affiliate programs that I was promoting. Right. So I just didn't want to build, um, you know, just a product to give information, but I also wanted people to go through the transformation that I've been, that I went through in those, those three months. Mm -hmm. So I inculcated the same principles into it the goal card, the strangest secret in the world, gotcha. and a few other, you know, writing the goals every single day. Yep. Some of these basic things. And I realized that most of the internet marketing products out there where they, you know, they just want to dump in all the information like an encyclopedia. Here, I, I just trimmed down everything to the essentials. And that's the reason why people are able to um, stick with the product. I have like a 35% completion rate on the course. So people are actually finishing the course. Nice. And they are, they, they are seeing the transformation in their life. And the best part is, uh, you know, many of them are messaging me. Like I got a, I got a handwritten note by a 12 year old girl saying that I've been watching your videos. I've been watching Vic's videos and uh, I know I'm going to, I'm going to do something with my life. You know, things like this, it, it just, it moved me. It was not just yeah. about the product. It was about the impact that it was creating. Wow. Yeah. Wow. That's awesome. So you, you, you started to implement yeah, literally like what we, what we teach in the success challenge, yes. is build your home on the internet, yeah. take care of the people that, that visit that home, yes. right? Get connected with them, serve them, and then recommend them products. Absolutely. Is what you're doing. So the, the product that you created for yourself, are you selling these or are these free products? I'm selling these products. Okay. Yeah. What's the price point? It's a $97 price point. Okay. One time or month? One time. One time. One time. Okay. Yeah. And then I have a, I have a second layer, which is a 147. Mm -hmm. 
and then from there they they go into the tools. So you create your own little ascension, ascension my model. ascension model, yeah, right. exactly. Um, and so the product is around what? So uh, I wanted to basically create a product which can bridge in and connect with the with the four percent in some way because I completely align with your values, your vision. Okay. So so you promotional partner of the four percent, and yes, you you, you you resonate with our products with what we stand for, and so you endorse and recommend our products from four percent from our marketplace to your people. So you create that collaboration yes, effect. Okay, exactly. Gotcha. Okay. So I wanted to create a course or content which is in which is uh, in alignment with what is already there. Right. And which is not rep a rep repetition of what's already there. Mm -hmm. So I, I teach people on how to create products because I created my own product. Yeah. So I teach people on how to create their own product and how they can ally that product with any other affiliate pro programs that they want. It can be any niche, health, wealth, relationships, uh, mm -hmm. personal development. So I have now people from various uh, industries who are also uh, doing this course. And they may not necessarily be in make money online space. They may be in, in a different space. Gotcha. But they, I'm able to help them create their products so they can align with whatever they want. So it's, it's a perfect like, a puzzle fitting into the 4%. Yeah. So how long ago did you create your first product? Uh, launch, nine months. One, nine months ago is when you launched your first yes. product. Yeah. So in nine months, what, how, how did you do so far? Over 1,000 customers, so $100,000 uh, just coming through my own products. You're yeah, just yeah. the front end. Just the this is end. before they get introduced or exposed yeah. to anything that you recommend. Yes, my, my own products, the one-time sales. That's incredible. Yeah. Nine months. Nine months. Wow. So talk to me about multiple streams of income. We, we're, you know, we're talking a lot about that, obviously, yeah. at 4% here and success challenge, setting up multiple streams of income. Mm. Do you implement that in your business? 100%. How is yeah. that working out? It's, it's, it's great. I can see the, the, the commissions coming through PayPal. Yeah. It's compounding every single month. Nice. It's, it's, I would say it's been doubling every month over the last, I think, six months now. Nice. Yeah. So I want to talk to you about, Sid, um, you know, a lot of people will be watching this that will be like, dude, you got to be somebody special. You know, you, you got to have some superpowers, you know, to be able to do this kind of stuff. Um, what's your answer? No. Do, do you have some superpowers? You're from India, man. You, nobody know. knows, man. Maybe you do have some hidden powers in you. <laughs> You know, <clears throat> I don't have any superpowers. Um, I've just been consistent, that's it. Consistency yeah. is the key. Consistent. Because I started doing webinars uh, like close to a year back mm -hmm. even when I started promoting the 4%. Yeah. But till today, I've, I've been doing two webinars a week and I've never missed a single webinar in the last one year. So it's like, I've done over 100 webinars easily. So it's just that consistency that's, that's created these results. Were you always good on video? Were you good at doing webinars? What no, it's, you learn I, I wasn't good at video. I'm, I'm a super introvert. I mean, I could not even go and speak to people in a crowd. Uh -huh. But it's just that after going through the personal development, now it's like a switch. I just need to turn on the switch. When the camera's on, I can just go on speaking. You know, it's like that. So that personal development, that, that, that part of personal growth really played a major role Absolutely. in your success. Yes. Would you say that if it wasn't for that, you wouldn't be doing webinars or would you still do it? Or um, no, personal development has played a major role because personal development has removed all those self-limiting beliefs of what I think about myself, what other people would think about me. Yeah. All, all that gets smashed, you know, with personal development. And then, um, now, now I just love the camera. I can just keep speaking to the camera. I can, I can just like turning on the switch. And yeah. so I just love it right now because now I'm able to connect with, it's like one to many. I can connect with so many people just through a webinar and mm -hmm. through the videos. Gotcha. What do you do for uh, for marketing, uh, traffic generation? How do you market, and what's your funnel looking like? Okay, so my my whole principle is to build a b business around freedom. So I only work uh, two days in a week okay. at this point. Okay, actual work. Actual. So how how that happens is um, so I, I run a lot of Facebook ads, uh, and I'm focusing only on the India market right now. Okay. And I drive uh, you know all my traffic to my landing page where they come into my webinar. So this is your custom built landing page. You're not using it for uh, any yeah. other products. This no, is custom built landing page gotcha. using ClickFunnels, using the same systems, all the you know tracking mechanism, everything that tracking systems as per what we have said, follow the same system. Gotcha. So I drive traffic into my webinars. I do two webinars in a week, mm -hmm. 9 p.m. to 10 p.m. Indian Standard Time, and those are the only two days that I work. And each webinar, I have at least 100 to 150 people. And I generate at least 50 to maybe 60 customers a week. Mm -hmm. Who buy it? For your product? Yeah, that, that product. So I don't do anything else the rest of the week. So the rest of the week, I'm just waiting for the webinar. Mm -hmm. And I just sell through the webinar. I've just mastered the art of selling through the webinar after doing many webinars. 
So that's, so you, that's the principle. Yeah. So you're, tra you, you're piling up the traffic, you, you, you have that pipeline for the next upcoming webinar. Yes. When that takes place, these people are on your list already. Yeah. And then you continue to run ads and ads are automated. So They're automated. They're still running you in the background. You don't have to be there yes. necessarily to babysit them. Yeah. And you're doing it through Facebook. Facebook, yeah. Okay. Any other traffic sources you implement? It's only Facebook right now. Okay. And I'm just going to be testing other traffic sources like YouTube and a few others. Yeah. Gotcha. Um, How is life like right now? What's your wife thinking about this? Wife is really happy. I just got her a, a, a nice solitaire diamond ring. Nice. Just to thank her for the gold that she had given me. Yeah. You know, so many years back. Yeah. And um, she still sings or she? She still sings. In fact, uh, she's doing an advanced course in music in Chennai. Nice. And she's going to start performing, uh, you know, on various stages very soon. Nice. So I'm, I'm supporting her in her music career. Um, and life now is like, I have two kiddos now. Yeah. So I drop my son, pick him up every day from school. I'm able to have a lot more quality time with the family. And um, we do a lot of staycations, vacations. Staycations like yeah, I, anywhere in the city, I just go to some five star or drive out of town to some resort. Nice. And we do that at least once in a month. Nice. So that you, family life is, is, is really impacted, yeah. You mentioned, um, you mentioned to me that now you have people that some of your customers that are now getting into some real money. Yeah. With what you guys do. You want to talk about that? Yeah, yeah. So applying the same systems like with over 1,500 you know, students are going through the system, I would say the actual implementers are 30%, maybe 300 of them. Mm -hmm. And out of that, we have generated a few case studies now. Around 15 of them have hit, uh, have crossed uh, over $5,000. Yeah. A couple of them have touched $10,000 per month. Per month. Yeah, following the same model. They've created their own courses. They've allied themselves with other programs or they've included a coaching element into it yep. and they've started to create a freedom lifestyle where they are able to do this completely from home. So your ripple now is, is expanding? It is, it's expanding. Yeah. And so you guys now doing meetups, talk about that. Yeah, so media. yeah, we're having meetups in all over India and uh, in each meetup we have at least 50 to 100 people who come yeah. up and in the meetups it's all about inspiring each other. So it's not, it's no, it's no more about me. I mean, when I started this business it was about, you know, Siddharth Rajshekar, how I can make money but now the vision has expanded into into the community, and I, I tell everyone that you know you need to find accountability partners. You need to start doing things for yourself. So meetups happen every month in all the top cities in India, and uh, people discuss about their uh, their challenges. They discuss about how they can help each other, mm -hmm. and the best part is I'm not in it. You know, I'm not in in that meetup. It's it's just happening through the system. Right, right, right. And. Um, and you know, it's really a fulfilling feeling right now for me. So you went yeah. from working in your business to now you're working on your business. So you're yes. more like a visionary type right now. Absolutely. And, and you got people bought into the vision of, of, of the community. Yes. And community just kind of grows naturally yeah. by default. Yeah. And, and I have to say that uh, the core values yeah. which you shared with me, I've just shared those same core values with the community. Mm. And that's what's keeping the community together. Like many people are just coming forward with, with their initiatives. Yeah, I want to run the meetup. I want to do this. I want to do that. Not because I've asked them to do it, because they feel that they are part of something much bigger. Yeah. And that's something magical. I, I cannot explain that to you because I was, I'm not a person who was able to lead like this. It was in the last nine months or whatever you shared and that created the transformation. And they're looking up to me as a leader. And now I'm, I, I'm able to be that person who can really guide them and you know, help them achieve their goals. So all of that in nine months? Nine months. Wow. What's the future like? The future is I want to reach a million people. You know, just doing what you're doing. With just doing what I'm doing and, and going with this community because it's not about me. Yeah. With, with joint forces. Now we have created a leadership council now. We have around, I would say 50 or 60 people. We have 50 people right now in the leadership council. We have created like a super brain where we are discussing ideas now. How we can go and impact a million lives. Mm -hmm. and how we can make a million people free. Gotcha. So, and and, right. and you, you're doing that through ed education is your vehicle education educating vehicle. people how to do it yeah. online yes how each person can take the knowledge what they have yeah. and make that into a, a powerful product they can make money from it they can have free time and they can spend uh, you know you know they can inspire a lot of people so it's like the three things how you can make money how you can have free time and you can inspire yeah. a lot of people at the same time can can, can anybody yeah. do this anybody can do this anybody who has some knowledge anybody can do this yeah so what if I'm somebody off the street and I'm, and I'm like, I'm looking for that breakthrough, man. I've tried a million and one different things. 
you know, and I still have not found that yet. Mm. What would you tell me? I would first uh, tell you that you need to have a vision. You need to have a dream. What do you really want mm -hmm. out of your life? I want money, man. You want money? Okay. I want money. I want lots of it. Okay. So you want money? Yeah. First thing is you got to rewire your, your, your thinking. You okay. Know? So how do I do that? So you got to rewire your thinking. You got to first write a goal card for yourself. Okay. You need to know how much you want to make. Okay. Okay. It may be uh, you want to make 5,000, 10,000, 15,000, whatever, whatever may be the number realistic to you. Right. First get clear on that. Right. Once you get clear, then you start listening to the strangest secret in the world every single day. That's it. And from that point, uh, you start to develop your, you know, you, you, you narrow down your niche, develop your product line, and then go from there. There's a process, you know, I, I would yeah. say that's a step-by-step -step process. Yeah. So as far as like the, um, you know, if, if I don't have a product to promote, what would you, what do you recommend to people, you know, just getting into the, into the game? Just like, just like me, you know, I did not have this product. The best way is to get into affiliate marketing. You already, you promote a product which you believe in, uh, yeah. which you, which you've used. <clears throat> so in my case, uh, since I resonate with the four person products, that's what I started promoting and I hit, you know, I achieved my first results over there. So that's, it's a no brainer. The, the best way to start creating a cash flow for yourself online is to promote affiliate products. And then once you get good at it, then you, you can start creating your own products. Yeah. yeah. Easiest path. Easiest. What do you think, what are your thoughts on, um, you know, somebody, you know, might be looking at possibly, you know, this success challenge from 4%, is mm. that real, is that not real? Obviously it's real for you. What would yeah. you, what's your genuine, you know, message to a person like that? So my genuine message is for anyone who wants to get into the challenge is uh, it's a no-brainer. You know, it's a, it is hands down the most powerful and the most impactful training that I've been through. And honestly speaking, I've spent over maybe $40,000 buying all kinds of other products online, which never worked for me. Yeah, I would have taken pointers, but no one gave a clear cut path. Mm. It's just information, but there's no transformation through that. And that's where the, the challenge comes in because it's a combination of the right information, walking through the right path, and uh, the transformation through that journey. And at the end of it, you, you can see the result. I mean, I, I saw the result. Yeah. Yeah. Well, nine months, your life completely changed. Completely. Yeah. Awesome. Well, Sid, congratulations. Thank you, Vic. You're definitely on the right path, my man. Thank you so Keep much. Keep doing what you're doing because obviously it's working, you know, and uh, I can't wait for you know, to hear the message from you that you guys impacted a million people or reached a million people. That's the next milestone, right? Thank you, Rick. Yes. You can do a thousand, you can do a hundred thousand. If you can do that, you can do a million. One yes. step at a time. Yes. All right. Um, there you go. What about you? What are you doing? You know, what's your dream? What's your vision? What is it that you want to do? Um, if you are somebody like maybe Sid was, if you've been trying things, listen, if we can help you, we're here, you know. Um, my message to you, my friend, is if you're watching this video, as you are, I don't know your backstory, I don't know your situation, you know, I don't know what you're coming from or coming through or going, where you're going. Uh, but I can tell you this one thing, there is no difference between you, between Sid, between myself, between anybody off the street, between, you know, the President of the United States. You know what the difference is? The difference is this, is what do we want, right? Somebody wants to be the President, great, they become the President. Somebody wants to become an entrepreneur, they become an entrepreneur. Somebody wants to become uh, the best father in the world, they become the best father in the world. Whatever, when it comes to entrepreneurship, when it comes to helping you break through to the next level financially in business, I can tell you this, we've got a path for you to follow and it's called the Success Challenge for Affiliate Marketing. The easiest path to get into um, and the easiest route to get to money as we believe through affiliate marketing. So if you need help with that, check it out. Uh, at any rate, um, I wanna wish you all the success in the world and if we can be of help to you, we're here. Thank you for watching. Until next time, I'm Vic and this is Sid. God bless. See ya.